Okay, it's just a petticoat. Let's do something simple. Uh, that's a nice design. A bit boring though. But we can add some lace insertion and some pin tucks and... What are you doing? What? You were supposed to do something simple. But this one is prettier. <sighs> you know what? Do whatever you want. I don't care. So after coming up with the design for this petticoat, it was time to pattern it. In my usual fashion, I got a pattern from an original sewing manual, but in true sewing manual fashion, pretty much half of the information needed to draft this simple petticoat was missing. So I used my big brain and transferred the lines by eye. Considering how unprecise all of this was, I made a quick mock-up and pinned it over me with the corset on and marked where the seam line should be. After the pattern was done, I marked it on the material, which was some white cotton that was laying around the house waiting to be used. Additionally, I cut out a white strip of fabric for the bottom ruffle. And now we can move on to the long and strenuous, yet simple, process of lace insertion. Also, if you wondered, yes, the lace was hard to find, as always, we just don't have nice frilly things in Poland. At first I basted the lace in place on the ruffle panel, but quickly realized that some pins would do just fine and change the methods. I quickly top stitched the lace in place, cut open the fabric behind the lace, folded the edges and top stitched them in place. Just keep in mind that I had to do this 12 times. Oh, and also I accidentally cut one of the lace strips and had to resew that one. And here before me awaits 52 Pintax. I practiced the pin tag design on a spare piece of paper and then moved on to the material. Thankfully, I was able to press the fabric with just my fingers so I didn't have to run to the iron all the time. And then of course I quickly sew the pin tags. Who'd have thought? Hi, welcome to filming this with a camera, but having a 
phone on my hand because I don't have a mic for this yet. Anyways, uh, the rest of the video is uh, filmed with a camera because I finally bought a camera, yay! Also, I am um, uh, uh, trying to... Words... Um... It's... Hmm. I have not woke up yet. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to collect money to like cover the costs of this camera on my Ko-Fi. Yeah. <laughs> I'm tired <laughs> if you can tell. I decided to finish the bottom edge of the raffle with a raffle. I finished one edge and gathered up another, so the two ruffles together finished those edges with a zigzag stitch. Once again, the steps are easy, the amount of repeating them not so much. Now that the bottom is pretty much done, it's time to move on to the assembling the top part of this petticoat. I sew the side seams together and finish them the same way as I did with the edges next to the lace. Next, I joined the pieces together, once again finishing them with a zigzag stitch. I might have gotten a bit overboard with this design, but I'm still trying to keep this semi-fast. I sewed the back in 3 steps. First, I sewed the last lace edge, then sewed up the ruffle and then the top part of the back, leaving a place for a slit. The edge of the ruffle is zigzagged and the rest is once again sewed in place. Also, there is a small reinforcement stitch at the end of the opening.
finish everything off, I sew the slim tape to the top. I left the string pretty long to use it as a closure for this petticoat. It seems like it was pretty common for original petticoats to be closed that way, and I did not have enough energy for a placket. Overall, I really liked how this turned out. Could it have been simpler? Yeah, definitely, but let's be honest, that would be pretty boring. I need to admit though, this petticoat might be just a tad too long for the 1910s, but that can be easily adjusted later on. A pin tag there, lace insertion there, and everything is alright. I love the details of the ruffle, and I definitely need to find a use for this petticoat in my everyday wear. wraps up the undergarments of the 1910s project. As I already mentioned in the update video, I will take a break from this project before moving on to the actual ensemble. I mean, I have been dragging it since September, <laughs> this forking is a break. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and will stay for more. See ya!